Previously on Fire Emblem Awakening, I put stupid Google Translate voices over this cutscene. <laughs> Hoi, ID, you get to that. The no way. Oa, how are you? Pink, pink, pink. Tell me, who could fight like that? My father. Ham. H M M M M. Hey, hello! Welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Awakening with Mecha and Raisins. How are you doing, Raisins? I'm doing really well this day. Hello, this day, this morning. It's like 1:30 here. I don't know what to call it. This afternoon. I'm doing it's, really well. It's it's a time. It's a time for awakening. Ooh. Is it time? Oh. Oh. Not, not just any kind of awakening. It's Ooh. time for an awakening paralog. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. Oh, are not you seeing that. what I'm seeing? Encounters in a shop? Damn, so much stuff to talk about before we get into this battle. So we could go to the next battle, to chapter 5. But as Racens reminded me like 5 seconds before recording, we have a paralog that we want to visit over here with Donald. And we have barracks that you need to show off. And we just got like two map spawns that we probably need to talk about too. So I guess we can sh check out the shop over here and make advantage yeah, at least. Oh, come the shop on first in. is probably good. What on earth? Oh, hello. Uh, we gotta find a way to get that. Oh, we can get a new Iron Lance if we want to, but I think I could already buy them anyway. Oh, we can buy yeah, Draco Shield for like extra money if we have it. I don't think I have anything worth selling to get this Draco Shield, so I think we'll have to let it go. I. Don't think so either. We don't have a bullion in convoy or nothing, do we? I don't believe so. No, we probably. I think we get one um, soon from like the, the paralog. I think. Oh, these sell for money though, huh? So I could theoretically sell all my meme items to do this. Your thunder and your shocks. There's no way. Um, it can't be selling a versus. Nah, what about I can't. Sell I, can't do that. I can't do that. I don't think I'm gonna sell anything here. I think I'm just gonna stick with what I have. It, it, like, these things are. These things are cool. You could buy like a normal iron lance for Sumia, I guess. That's okay, because this is like yeah, a bargain, right? It's like cheaper than normal. It's it, it, it would say it's on sale if it did. Oh yeah, the, that's the idea true. here is it's just here. <laughs> okay. Earlier than you can buy it, maybe. Okay. There's only one of them. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, I'll just I'll just get this Iron Lance for her, so she's a normal Lance to use. That's all, Anna. Goodbye. See you. See ya. And then oh, we could have got the gold from this year bonus battle. Yeah, I don't think we're doing that one, but it stays after I do a chapter, right? Usually, I think they're based on the system clock the same way the barracks <laughs> events and the Enna events are as well. So, what you're saying is we should hurry up so I can do it afterwards? <laughs> uh, well, the thing is, uh, probably a new one will spawn if you do. Actually, the th the thief ones were kind of weird. I, I recall the thief ones holding onto super special loot. Uh huh. Hmm. Whenever you go there, but may maybe it was just a one off. I might check it out after the after the proper chapter because. Here's my consideration. Uh, I'm not a big fan of grinding in Fire Emblem games, but I did sort of promise to try and use most units and keep them along so we can use, like, not just the same team over and over. And it's also to be necessary to keep all the kids up and everything and make all the parents we want. So, in that sense, I will probably have to do some off screen grinding at some points. And I can either do these, but they appear randomly. Like you said, they don't, they're not always there. They're based on the system clock. So I did find another feature that will allow me to grind without buying DLC, which is this wireless oh, no. thing right here. Uh, bonus box. Uh, this lets you spawn things on the map that you can fight. For example... Why not Earth? <laughs> did you never see this? I've, I've never seen this. Okay, it's really... It's pretty cool. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one it was that I wanted to use. I think... Uh, so these are just like references to different Fire Emblem games, obviously. Every single Fire Emblem game between 1 and 10 has some uh, teams over here. And you can just spawn one on a map like this. And you do have to download them first, which is what I did off-screen. Uh, so for example, if you want Edward on a map, I just like summon this to the world. And he just appears right here. Well, and then what? And then you can parley with him. And you can check out the stats of the uh, enemies that you would fight here. And other than that, it's basically just like a random battle, like the one up there with the, the Red Thief. You just fight these dudes, and if you win, you can recruit Edward on your team. And you just have, basically, Edward's ghost on your team. You just have Edward, hey, he's level 4 or 20 HP, nice. Yeah, it's not bad, and he has this zeal skill and everything, that probably reference to how he has Wrath. And, um, 
What's this, like crit plus five or something? Avoid plus 10, yeah, there you go. Avoid plus 10, yeah, I think this is the base, the base skill for Myrmidon. I think you're right. That's, so, yeah. That's pretty cool, actually, I never knew. Yeah. The sad thing is they don't have any dialogue. They, they literally just look like ghosts. They're, I think they're called like Einhar jars or something like that. I never know how to pronounce it. Some, so, something from mythology. Yeah, basically. And if you want to get rid of them, like, you can also always just be like, hey, get out of here. And you just dismiss them and they just leave. Uh, I chose this one because it's easy. I'm not going to do it right now, but I could beat these. Whereas, let me just show some of the other teams. Uh, they scale really, really quickly. For example, you got the um, those teams. We can summon the Marcus team. Uh oh. Yeah, like, for example, this. Uh, you might think, like, okay, I'm going to, you know, take Nino. She's level 10 mage. I could probably handle that, right? But you just look at the team right here. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no like, just look at the bottom right, I guess. It's just uh, a Swordmaster, a hero, and uh, an assassin. So. Linus, Lloyd, and Jafar are just right there, and they're gonna destroy you if you pick this battle, for example. So, don't do that. Yeah, so. you're gonna get Karel, got Binding Blade. No, this is, uh, oh yeah, Karel's here too, Jafar, Lane. You can pick all kinds of teams. And obviously, they're like oh in Awakenings classes, but they're always like based on the character somehow. Like, for example, Lin's team is like Lin, Kent, Sane, Florina, Will, Dorcas, um, Urk. Wrath, yeah, Sarah, it's, it's Mage Knight Earth, yeah. There we go. Yeah, exactly. It's Linda's Legion, man. Exactly, it's Linda's League. So, yeah, you can do that if you want to grind, which I think is going to be useful. But I'm not going to do it to like over level. I'm just going to do it so that I can actually keep up with the game, which is pretty hard when you're using like almost every character. So I'm going to try to hold myself back. Uh, exactly. Now, these are really good if these are really good if you have a plan and say I need just this one last support level or j just this 50 XP so I can second seal or master seal or whatever. Yeah. But usually do it with some kind of intention. This is also the kind of thing I usually do off screen. I don't know if you would too. We could maybe like go to the thief and just open the bonus battle and exit to show people what it's like in case you've never seen one. Doesn't that make him vanish? I actually don't. I think I think it doesn't. Mm, I guess I'll show it off. And even if it does, oh no. Mm -hmm. In Sacred Stones, oh. like you can, you, if you walk into them on the world map, you just fight them. You have no choice. Near it's like, all right, you can engage them, or you can just not engage them. Whatever you want. Yeah. So we've been on this map before. You see, what on earth, Revenants? <laughs> I think they're enemies, just like the thieves, but I'm not sure. Probably, yeah. But uh. you, there's just a bonus battle. Mm -hmm. Usually the boss drops a bully, and I don't know who else drops. It's up to fortify. <laughs> what the heck? That's what I'm saying. I think the thieves. I think. Thieves just drop special things. Yeah, that's a really special thing, though. That's pretty cool. Also, pretty it's whack. It, it does make the game like less linear, and I'm usually more fan of like more linear. Fan. I'm gonna reset just so I make sure it doesn't like despawn. Exactly. I'm more that, fan of like the linear farming game, but like you go to battle to battle, and like just the game is kind of designed around whatever level you're at. Whereas in Awakening, that sense is not really there. Or you just respond. Exactly. Like you can. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you're not meant games. to have a fortify at this point in the game. Basically, it's just the game just yeah. kind of does it anyway. Yeah, it, it's very, it's very much not in control of what resources you'll have, XP wise or item wise. Oh, you can just kind of, in. yeah, go into that. It makes it hard to write guys because it's like, <laughs> what, what does the player have at this point? Mm -hmm. Can I assume they have a rescue staff? Basically, okay. And speaking I need, of the rescue staff, yeah, and you set the barracks with worth checking out, right? That's the other thing. Yes, I've never used this feature. You've never used this feature? I mean, I probably checked it out once and just never looked at it again, because, again, I'm a fan of linearity. But apparently events have occurred, whatever that means. Well, we're about to find out. You got a quick on. Oh. Oh, this is Frederick. I thought it was... Isn't that style? Huh? This is... Okay, let me just listen in. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is good, but you're allowed to stand still, you know? You're allowed to walk around. Okay. It's a 13 XP. <laughs> so useful. Works. You got that just from like, walking? Yeah, Fre Frederick down there, there's always one character barking at you and making <laughs> some kind of remark, and it's always based off of the time of day you have it in. <laughs> so, the thing is, is like, I've never actually seen any of them, like, welcome you in to play the game. It's always like, it's too late, you should go to bed, yeah. or it's the middle of the day, you should be at work. Like, <laughs> Final Wars is something like that, too. Where it's like when you open the game, Anna or whoever you have as the voice just goes like, uh, try to play in a light, brightly lit room and not too close to the screen and stuff like that. I guess I'm looking out for your health, but mm -hmm. come on, dude. Mm -hmm. You and teach your partner up for the next fight. Certainly, I'll devise some strategies and drop by later. And just get support points. Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, I just get support points. I didn't know you could even support, but I guess Ramen supports everyone, so that makes sense. That's true. You gotta be able to marry Vake. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> 
I guess this one can't. Noodle can't, but... Mm -hmm. This this version of Noodle cannot. If only it was another world. Where's all the strength co coming from? I feel like a top of a mountain. Yo! Is that, like, a tonic? Exactly, it's just a tonic. I okay. don't know, actually, if those effects stack with tonics. Uh -huh. But they do, they just get it for the next battle. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's just a temporary boost for are... next battle only, right? Exactly. The okay. things you can get from this are oh, support hello. points, XP... <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> oh, hey, we're back. No, but this time you're on the left and he's on the right. Oh, that's right. This is very different content. Someone tell a funny <laughs> <story>. <laughs> Yeah, I just managed to bring a weapon for once. I do remember that event. <laughs> that event? Um, no, he, he oh, wait, to bring the weapon. Wait. He brought the imposing axe. <laughs> wait, what if we get, like, one between Krom and a female? Uh-oh. Don't want that. I guess that's a risk. Yeah. Well, you, you could just like not listen in, right? And just be out or something. I think you have no indication of what it's going to be. No, you do. Yeah, I mean, you this have the guy walking around here. Oh, we gotta oh, we just get an heck? item like that. Okay. Yay, Wilderwind. Wilderwind? Wilderwind? Oh, I guess Wilderwind is the more proper pronunciation. I, I really don't know what it is. It might be Wilderwind, honestly. Oh, you could just check your whole thing. That's kind of cool. Their things, their birthdays. There is also another thing. If you play on the character's birthday, they get a super special surge of stats. I think it's, it's either plus two to everything or plus two to most things. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> it's getting late, but the fake never sleeps. <laughs> the fake never sleeps. You can, like, look around in here. Okay. Not, like... Yeah, right now we have the katanas on the right because we recruited Lanku. As we recruit more people, there will be more items in here. Only okay. some characters add accessories to the barracks. No one else has anything? Just Longku? Just Longku, dude. Okay, interesting. Everyone else puts their stuff not in the barracks, <laughs> they just have quarters. That makes sense. Alright. So that was that. And that refreshes every 24 hours or so, basically? Like, whenever the new day hits? I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Okay. How often it updates, okay. so I, I wish I could tell you. Not the biggest one. Uh, what I am doing, though, is I should say I've basically decided on some pairings so I can start building them and start working on them and not have to worry about them. Um, for one, a lot of people wanted Crom Olivia, so I'm kind of working towards that, which means not working Crom with anyone else and trying to marry people who he's likely to marry, such as Sumia. So I need to pair up Sumia somewhat soon, uh, maybe with like Frederick or something, but I haven't decided that one yet. Also... Because he has a, he has four points with Sully, we're going to have to do something similar with Sully at that too, we're yeah. going to marry her off. Yeah, I'm considering, like, Sully fake right now. Again, this is all from input from my Patreons. And then, uh, I think I'm marrying Noodle to Lissa just because I like Owain a lot, and I think Noodle is basically the best dad for anyone no matter what, so might as well do that one. A lot of people who... Like, I posted a thread for Lissa, a lot of people wanted Noodle there, and I posted a thread for Noodle, and a lot of people wanted Lissa there, or, like, a couple people wanted Lissa there. So I feel like that way I can kill two birds with one stone. Maybe it was the same people, I actually don't remember, but that's probably what happened. So, um, every time, basically what happens every time I release an episode with a new person joining who has children, so Krom, Noodle, or any of the girls really, um, I post a thread uh, where people can suggest the pairings. So that's how it goes. And so far, a lot of people have been giving input, so thanks for that. Now, it sounds uh, like we have those down. Have you made a poll for Muriel? Or you yeah, I made one for Muriel, I made one for Lissa, obviously, I made one for uh, Sully, and... I mean, I'm not going to make one for Donald because he doesn't really have his own child, but I'm going to make one for, for example, Mary Bell when she joins us. And Cordelia, obviously, uh, Cher Cherche, whatever. And, uh, I mean, there probably won't be one for Olivia because Krom is going to be taken by the time that happens, no matter what. Uh, I guess if I accidentally pair Krom with someone else earlier than that, I don't know, then maybe there will be a threat for Olivia. Uh, but generally, that one's probably going to be set to stone. I don't remember any other girls besides... Oh, uh, Tiki, I guess, or uh, Noe. I guess there's another yeah, one. Now he has one, Pan has one. Oh yeah, Pan as well. Yeah, we I have can, gotten yeah, some suggestions one, for those characters in the threads, but I'm going to properly consider them once they've actually joined my team. But we're getting Pan somewhat soon, and we're getting... Um, Maribel first. Yeah, we're getting Maribel first as well. And then Cordelia and Church are a little bit later, but we'll still get them in time, I think, to pair them. Like, we have all the time in the world there. to do these. Like yeah, that, that's... Especially the, we're doing the all the paralogs. There's all the time in the world to uh, get pairings done. And there's always exactly. great. But Yeah, and the most pressing thing is actually the paralog right here and keeping uh, Krom away from the ladies. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep him away from Sumia and Sully especially. I mean, if, I'm probably going to marry those two anyway. Like, in, in, If anything, they might actually be safe to keep them next to these. Uh, but uh, maybe keep him away from Muriel, for example. Maybe that's a good idea. 
the very Probably. least. Lissa doesn't matter, obviously, because he can't marry Lissa. Thank God. Um, but what? yeah, that's no. the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just play this a Paralog. Yeah. So Paralog, basically guiding chapters, you can do them whatever you want, and they are not related to the main story, but he's just kind of going on a side mission real quick to get a reward. In this case, a guy with a pot on his head. Yeah, I hear this character's kind of good. I mean, apparently he's a good dad. For however disturbing that might be. Oh. There he is. Good Donald. I'm begging you, my lords. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I like how they all have these like skulls on their heads, little <laughs> masks. What? That's how you. That's how you know they're bad guys. I thought it was the main face or the or the beard. <laughs> yeah, or they're ugly. Yeah. Listen, who's who's the good-looking person in the enemy ranks? <laughs> mm, I wonder. You all right? Remember that um, treatment from Awkward Zombie? It was like, hmm, I wonder which one of these people I can recruit. <laughs> Donnie. It's just like uh, a bunch of ugly dudes and then Guy. Dom. <laughs> Donald lives here, and then bandits came. Yeah, see. I knew it. How did I know that? Not, I don't know. Like, have you played this game before? I think you're leading us on. <laughs> First time I played this game, I got Donald killed like right after this chapter. Like, yeah, no, murder. same. Hey. I think what? I played this game the first time. And again, I, I was very much more into linear FE, like what? bases over growths and whatnot. What? So I recruited Donald, took one look at him and thought, man, this guy's trash. And just killed him off right away. <laughs> and then I think I saw some other streamer using them and I was like, Good. Wait, is is this character actually good? Because I saw him as a hero, and he was just um, vacuuming up entire maps. Uh huh. Right. Like, yeah, this character's kind of good. He does get like, I I know this is obvious, but he gets really, really freaking strong. Him. Just not as quickly as you might like, and it takes a lot of work. But I do like how the chapter sets it up by just making you use him for this chapter. Yeah. It's like, all right, you only get to keep him if you give him XP. If you don't give him XP, you don't get to keep him. I think that's really funny. Uh, he joins on the map, I think. Yeah, he joins on the map. Okay, we also Sorry, got some... Um, I know we've been talking a lot already, but we also got Longku. Do we really oh, talk about good. him? I also, I mostly know Longku as like, hey, if I if I pair him with someone, I get like plus four speed. That's really all I use him for ever. I think I paired him with uh, Sherish in my first playthrough, and she got kind of fast to it, but I never really raised him properly. But I assume he just kind of turns out like, you know, Guy, Rutger, well, maybe not Rutger, uh, Joshua, kind of those kind of mediocre strength, but high speed, dodgy crit kind of guys, but remember yeah. on class three apparently it's kind of good because it gets advantage, which is pretty cool. I don't know anything else about yeah. Longku. He doesn't seem super good to me, but he might work out. Did you use him? I, I did use him. He turned out pretty good. He was Robin's. He was Robin's wife, I think. Oh. So he turns out pretty good. How'd you do that? Is actually, <laughs> how'd you make him huh? a wife? <laughs> uh, listen, um, <laughs> I, I put him in the maid outfit, man. Come okay, on. oh that works. No. That works. Oh, I didn't get that DLC. I'm afraid. Oh, of course. But no, I made him well, long. Okay, he was Robin's husband. There we go. I got it the right way around. <laughs> his strength is actually not atrocious. It levels up relatively fast. It's usually his defensive stats, defensive res, but he, he gets enough HP to survive that anyway. You're absolutely right that he's a good parrot bot. He can reclass into Thief and something else. But barbarian, the thief maybe? Was, I don't know. Maybe Barbarian? I, honestly, I can't Actually, it might be Wyvern, <laughs> to be honest with you. Probably. Yeah, it I, seems like everyone it seems like everyone can request Wyvern. Yeah. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> I know. Shoot. Mecca's gonna hate this game, man. So many flyers. <laughs> but No, he, he does form a good pair up. He gives a lot of speed. If you reclass him to Teeth, he suddenly gives move whenever you pair him up. So he's generally he's generally a good unit, a good support unit, just like that. And he joins with the killing edge and she ranks swords. You can use it right away. Yeah. Do you have any amazing swords we can give him? Uh, we have Solid Iron Sword, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, we don't really have anything else to I wanna give him right now. Uh, we should probably take uh, the elixir and give it to someone who's gonna use it. Because I don't think I'm feeling very on for this battle. We only get like not a lot of people, we get like seven people here. It's not a lot, but yeah, I don't think I'm feeling any of these. I don't think I need any of those. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, there's three enemies at the starting point. I can probably deal with that. I remember like trying to train Donald right away is pretty bad, so I'm just not going to do that right away, like just save it for when there's less enemies around. Remember this initial part exactly. actually looks semi-tricky if I don't just murder something straight off the bat, but I should be able to do that. Let me see, Sumia. Yep. Oh, Sumia's fast as hell, damn. The hard part of this map is not necessarily training Donald, it's if we scroll all the way over to the west. There oh. is a bit of a time-sensitive objective to fulfill because there's a bunch of chests on the west and thieves and door keys and people who will go and get them. Oh yeah. So. 
Th th this ordinarily would not be a challenging map if it weren't for the fact that you also want to be training Donald. Like, there are two things that kind of split your attention here. Mm -hmm. So you do want to rush over to the west, but you also want to take your time. That said, there, there are a few really easy ways to, to train Donald. You can always just surround an archer if you need to, and then yeah. have him poke him however many times it takes. That is the plan. I'm trying to look like how I'm going to approach it. I'm probably going to have Sumia kill the archer with a forge if I can, which I think I can because her attack with the forge is probably kind of good. I'm just going to set this up in prep so I know it's going to work. And then I can just play turn one out. So 17 attack will kill this archer with Sumia. Easy XP for her. Uh, 7 move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, it needs to be 1 up or like closer at least. So maybe Frederick's spot or something. And then I can, uh, with the archer out of the way, she can probably survive this fight here. Maybe Krom, Frederick, or like Longku kills the Barbarian, and then we only have the Thief to worry about. And uh, the Thief is probably not a threat to either of them after they've attacked. And then we can just go from here, maybe like bring... Let's see, I kind of want to pair Lissa with Robin to start working on our supports. Uh, maybe Krom with like Fake or something temporarily, so that take on the bandits together. I think Krom doubles the bandits so we can take him out right away so we can get to the point real quick. That should be fine, I That's think. That's right. Alright, let's try yeah, that. Yeah, going, going west, I think it's turn two as you're going west, you end up running into a lot of heat. Yeah. Hey, there All he right. is. We should be fine. Oh, there he is. Let's Fight. check his attack speed. <laughs> Fighting is strong, he says. Guess it can't hurt to try. I sure hope I don't get in the way. Gosh, that would be just awful. I know, right? If Donnie levels up in this chapter, he will join the Shepherds. If he fails to grow, it's back to the farm for him when the battle ends. I was about to say, it, I do like how the text pop-up calls him Donnie and not Donald. <laughs> they're, already, they're already dissing him. <laughs> already, yeah. I, uh... I, I guess he doesn't have the best first impression, but there's something about this kind of unit that just draws people in. It's like, if they start this bad, they must end up really good. And it kind of works for him. It's just that... Generally, the balance isn't really there. Like, I feel like it's one of those games where, especially on normal and hard, the units that you train up are usually sufficient to kill everything anyway, so you don't really w need a unit that's, like, even stronger than that in the end. But it is very satisfying to have overkill numbers and see him grow, like, really fast, because I think Donald at base is, like, pretty good growth already, but then he has aptitude for 20% extra for every stat. So that's going to be really high. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember offhand what they are, but they're really good. I remember him going like, I think I remember particularly his HP and strength get really good, which you wouldn't say when you look at his bases, like, okay, 16 HP, 4 strength, gross. But, yeah, those get really good. In particular, his luck, I think right now his luck worth is 100%. Oh, you're so right. I think he gets right. every point. His base is also games, really good. It's 11 oh, luck. Oh, yeah. 11. Is that, is that actually the highest luck of anyone on our team? Uh, you might, yeah, Sumia has 11. Uh, Lissa has 11 as well. Oh, Sumia has a uh, 10, excuse me. Uh, that's basically it. No one else can wow. compete. Wow. Yeah. No one can compete. Yeah. And in many in many other games, luck is like just a total sleeper stat. It's like, oh wow, just snooze on it. Who cares? They got high luck. But this one, actually, there are a lot of skills that track off of luck percent. Uh, in particular, Arms Thrift is a very silly one that you can get. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Leaves him at 2 HP. Yeah, he uh, doesn't actually quite kill. So there is a chance we can just get a straight up Donald kill here. But. Um, <laughs> Or should I, I would Donald? I would have to kill the thief probably. Let's see, thirteen attack, or use the rescue staff. Eh, not yet, please. I could also um, pair Longku with someone who gives strength, and that way he can one out the guy comfortably without having to worry about it. I could kill him off with like Robin afterwards, like just pair Robin with Lissa and just go ham on him, and that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I'm not sure if like this guy has thirteen attack. I'm not sure if he kills Donald because I don't know how much weapon triangle gives or takes away, but I think he would want to get one rounded. I'm pretty sure I've seen that guy get one rounded by a lot of things, so. Um, yeah, yeah, Donald's pretty frail on this map. There's also not really much of a rush to train him. I, I agree. So I'm going to pair him with this, uh, with this empty square right here and just uh, make sure to kill him. Yeah, it was cool. They gave you an energy drop. Yeah. I, I just forgot to give that out at, at, during the preps. There you go. It's, uh, it's one of those temporary stat boosters you can give. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, we got a temporary surge because it's actually Longku's birthday, but no one knows. No one notices oh, his birthday. Right. Every day is Longku's birthday. Okay, so we kill this guy, and hopefully that should make the thief suicide into Sumia as well, or get weakened. Oh, nice. Is this our first like crit like that? Because like we got a lot of like we got a couple short toxic crits, I think. But is, is that a first crit cut in that we got in like five chapters? Yeah, with a one percent too. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know it was a one percent. That's kind of cool. Okay, so. 
I know for a fact Crom would like any kind of pair will one round these dudes. In fact, even without one, he might kill. He has like so much attack right now, 21. Yeah, he kills without a freaking pair up because he's that good. I think it might still be worth to like get Vic over here, get him closer to the action. Um, yeah, as long as you keep him in a range of the air, should, yeah. should be fine. I do need this to like. Still... There's a guy with a oh, hammer here. I need to keep in mind. Ooh, uh, he's not here right. on our on the. It's like I remember lunatic. There's a guy that just oh, coat my Frederick head here. I'm gonna have to keep him in mind before I forget. But he's not here apparently. Okay. Yeah, well, we might be past the point where you don't even need a hammer to one round. Mm -hmm. Frederick. But yeah, a lot of these units. We're we're still in the awkward early stages of awakening where pretty much everyone has high accuracy. I mean, including the enemies. I think including the enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Most people. Yeah. I mean, like. Cool. Obviously, it's, well, I was, just I was saying they don't miss, a thief misses an 80, but... <laughs> Normally. Feel, yeah, if you'll bear with my point a bit. In pretty much any Fire Emblem game, if you're a few chapters in, you expect Barbarians to have slightly less than 50% hit against a Lord. Yeah, but even these like guys, 30s, 40s. Yeah, even these guys have pretty reliable hit rates. I say is they just miss everything. Yeah, I mean... We're dual guarded. Look how smart I am. <laughs> okay, move, move. Yeah, so th that thief is on the way to the treasure room. But I remember it being like, it's more generous than it looks. Like, he looks, it looks like it's real close, but he has to go like all the way around here and then open it and then escape with his life, which is not as easy as it might seem. And this guy, I think he didn't even move right away. I think he moves later. It's the bottom thief. Yeah, because I, I think the top thief has a door key, so if he detects the door. Wait, but they're thieves, don't they just have the lock touch skill? Mm. I think they do, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in the bottom right, yeah. Lock touch. Okay. So they don't need keys. I, he, just has, he just has a chest key in case you, like, kill him, I guess, before he opens the door. Because I don't oh, think you true. get any of your own keys yet. Anyway, uh, I think this would be a fun time for another good old imposing axe. We gotta get rid of this thing somehow. Let's try not. Why not? Dude. <laughs> Why is this entertaining even when it misses? <laughs> so it's just the big axe miss. Mm. If I give him Frederick, I can take out these guys with Krom. I don't need to. Like these guys are not mobile right away, so it's like whatever. Did have to yeah, carry that looks yet. Like pretty easy axe to dodge, to be honest. Though it's just like mm -hmm. just move out the way. You definitely do see it coming <laughs> from pretty far away. All right, level. All right, let's see a good Krom level. Level nine already. Damn. But, yeah, have you been training this guy? <laughs> and Krom is one of those lords who can just promote, right? Yeah, uh, it's, it's just, there's no character arc needed, he just promotes. For all characters, I'm pretty sure, too. Okay, ooh. Donald useful we got for Donald with Frederick. Frederick. <laughs> we got Donald with the Frederick, what's he gonna do? Uh -huh. This guy Donald's with Frederick, what are you gonna do? Honestly, this, well, I was about to suggest this thief could be an easy pick off for Donald with Frederick, but we can also do this. Yeah, I didn't even check the damage, but I'm somewhat sure he wouldn't kill with the Bronze Lance. Oh, I mean... Oh, Frederick. Wait, what? Yeah, with the Frederick, with the Frederick pair up. Oh yeah. With the plus four strength, plus four defense. Also, I just remember we forgot to forge the Iron Lands. Can you remind me at the end of the episode to do that? Oh, for sure. Because uh, I mean, we forged it, but we forgot to name it. You can actually do that. I just forgot to mention it last episode. Yeah, we ought to. I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, na naming it isn't cost gold. So. No, it doesn't. You just go like inscribe or something and give it a name or whatever it's called. Okay, exactly. So you tell me to forge an iron. I'm like, we're out of money, dude. We're broke. <laughs> we're broke in here. Okay. You could just, like, we cross this guy's ranges without him having movement, but this is, uh... There's, like, a lot of different directions where enemies are coming from. Like, we got this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and then I guess this guy exists as well. So... Yeah, this is the awkward part of the map where you're going to be facing a bunch of combats. I could just, like, put Frederick out there, because he's definitely not going to die. He's 14 defense. And just put him with like a iron axe or something. Oh, there's a glowing talent in between all that stuff too. And there's one here too. You did not forget these. Uh, so exactly. I can't fly off these walls. Hmm. Yeah, I like the idea of just going for the map. Let's see. Iron axe, iron axe. No hammer time, right? Okay. Alright, let's, let's go with some Frederick. This is a. Oh, this is a pillar, right? Okay. Let's just see what we can bait here. Might have been better there. to put him next to the pillar so that the enemies have the defense and Frederick doesn't one round. Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want it anyway, because he doesn't double the iron sword. Is not that strong, right? They, oh, they, that's they true. Don't die. Frederick's already fallen off. <laughs> Can't believe they gave you this trash unit. They need to buff him. <laughs> kind of gross. I mean, you could have Fake just take on these guys right now. It's probably gonna be fine if he just. I mean, if he misses, he's only gonna fight one. <laughs> yeah, it's. 
He, th there's no way he's gonna be in trouble. I have Donald next to him so that potential dual, dual strike. Uh, I don't actually know if he's gonna dual strike with Donald or not. I think it's out of my control. Just don't put anyone else next to him. Forehead. It should be a very low chance. Although Donald paired up. I'm, no, Donald paired up I don't think has any higher chance to dual strike than just playing old Donald. We shall see. Okay. <laughs> I actually Trump. don't know if there are two characters who can legally dual strike, which one it will choose. I think it's the one with the highest support points. I think that's how it works. Which sounds Probably. good, because that makes it easier to like pair people you want to pair up, rather than accidentally pair up people. I guess we'll find out, though. Yeah. I mean, Krom right now is next to three bows, bro, so right now it's not an issue for us. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Frederick is kind of weak. Because we made him so. <laughs> Come on. 53. Oh, just a one shot. Damn. That's kind of bad. He also, we got kill him as his partner. Oh, this guy's just running at us now. Okay, yeah. Four directions. Four okay. directions, four people. The thief is kind of on the way. I'm pretty sure. Well, how many chests are there to open? Oh, goodness. <laughs> There's two chests. And I think he drops both treasures if he takes them. So we have, like, much longer than he like, would have in, like, GBA, for example. Oh, seriously? He drops both? I think he drops both. I kind of remember that. Let's see. Assuming I can kill the archer, I'm assuming we get rid of the brigands. You can probably take one hit from brigands, but not two. I also think a thief will attack you if he can kill you. Something like that. So I might want to watch out for that. Yeah, either way, we have one, two, three, four, five enemies to kill. And how many attacking units? <laughs> More than I can count, at least. All right, we can yeah. just uh, do a boring iron axe for a second. This guy's already weakened. Eight. You don't need to open him. You can conserve our imposing axe for more Class threatening allies. Dismissed. Or enemy, enemies. Whatever you want to say. More threatening allies. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter to Vake. Yeah. <laughs> he does not discriminate. He uh, sees somebody, he goes bonk. Yep. Uh, there should be a way to disrupt for Dono, I think. I just don't see it right. I was just going to take this guy out with uh, Robin. This seems uh, this is This damage is too perfect to ignore. Exactly. I can't stop myself. Can't resist. Still no crits. What on earth? We have noodle arms. You gotta take what you can get. That's true. This is why we gave noodle magic. Mm -hmm. Did he just gain support with practically the whole team? Don't know. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, if he crit, doesn't crit, but... which is... Oh, dude, this is still not enough, I think. He does with four, right? Yeah, he does with four, so I would need like uh, some kind of energy drop to get this kill. And even if I like do hit rate is shaky, I'll probably do it though. Isn't there an energy drop in the tile right next to you? Yeah, I can probably pick that one up and I use it in one turn. That's my answer. We're gonna get a crit though. Lanka no. would have to like not crit over two hits though. Like a 50-50 shot. It's very reasonable. Let's see what we get. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, now we get to see his crit animation, which is also fun. He's got a big purple sword. Apparently. I mean... I don't choose the decorations for his sword. Okay. Could also Maybe this could be the setup. We'll see. Oh, for Donald. Hmm. Okay, just gotta make sure he's not in range of like this archer. Oh, you're I right. I think he is. Like that's one of those like it's one of those like many many traps in this map where it's like, oh, a kill for Donald. It's actually, it's a kill on Donald. You know, got him. But is the do... archer one? Or... Well, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, the archer has eight speed. I think Donald's like three speed. Yeah, he does oh, exactly get one round. It's well, exactly doubled. I think this map was made for Donald to like. Figure out all kinds of ways to make it hard to turn Donald, basically. I have your back. This is only hard, man. I wonder how tricky this is on Lunatic. I've never actually tried it. I think I did it on Lunatic. Like, I, this is the chapter I stopped playing Lunatic at. Like, I did it for my 50 gates. Oh, nice strength on Sumi. That's really good. Ooh, finally. Um, this is the chapter where I, like, like I said, said I got one rounded by this guy with Frederick because he had a hammer. Or one of those two guys, anyway. Um, but I remember I think I cornered this like this archer, or this archer, or this archer, and just got him trained on that. I think one archer alone, and like a little bit of chip somewhere, is just basically just all you need. Yeah, because you only need one level, right? And I'm pretty sure he gains it pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like he's Paragon, speed. but he's very on a level, so yeah, he does gain it pretty quick. Uh, we could try to hit this thief. If we pair with Noodle, though, he's dead. So... Could also... That's what you want. Try... I mean... Oh, we can weaken him like this, and then maybe next turn find a way to kill him with Donald. That works for me. Because I'm pretty sure Donald can do 4 damage to a thief. Yeah, so there's no way. Yeah, and if we pair him with the, I don't know, a Draco Shield or something, he might not even get one on it. Ooh, actually, can Draco Shield do it right now? I'm pretty uh, sure you can walk onto Frederick. Donald can pair up with Frederick, and then Frederick can move south, switch, and maybe get a hit. It's risky. 
Oh, we can, yeah, we can just do that right now. Yeah, you're right. We could try this at least. There's no real cost to it. I'm, I'm down. I want to see his animation. Yeah, he doesn't even get one artist. 80%? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he has... He has to hit 478s. <laughs> yeah, on us even if he misses. With double, dual yep. guard and everything. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, but he's... It, I'm down. The, the odds are in our favor by a yes. lot. Which means this will never go wrong. Got him. Of course. Okay. How much XP did you get? 30? 50? 60? 60? Nice. Stop. 60. And just got Paragon? Apparently so. Okay, Longo will take care of that dude. Corner. We'll just uh, enter in here. I don't know the XP formula. It's a bit weird because if you second seal, you like keep some amount of your levels. Yeah, it's like an internal level, kind of like a face. Goodbye. You got a lot to do, and we probably will be second sealing Donald whenever he hits level ten. Yeah. Just something more useful. Yeah, not a character I, uh, I'm probably gonna need to grind to get him there because doing it in map, I mean, this is already a pain. <laughs> Imagine doing it like a lot. I mean, oh wait, you did, you need to like second steal him out of this class, right? To actually make him good. Is it? Exactly. Is level 10 onwards where you can second steal? It's like, yeah, it's level 10 Oh, so onwards, you have to put I up think... with this class for like nine more levels, damn. That's yeah, and you get yikes. something special mm -hmm. at 15 if you mm -hmm. do. You know what? I think this might be right. a case for shock stick on these guys. Ooh. Because we have it, we might as well use it. Let's do it. Uh, I would like to... Do I want to drop off Donald? I guess I could just keep him with me for now. Hey, yeah, just keep him paired up. I, honestly, I think anytime Donald attacks, he's probably going to want the Frederick pair up anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're so right. So this is probably a reasonable thing. I do want to heal. Um, oh, I want to heal Frederick, but he's like... Okay, kind of have to do this then, I guess. I think that works. Yeah, they can both still attack. Uh, assuming they don't move in a stupid way, which might very well happen. But in that case, it's in that case it's their fault, not mine. So still the clear there. Shock yeah, stick. No. Yeah, no. Nothing's ever wrong. We can even like unpair them if we really want to. Uh, heal. Should be good. And then what's this attack range? Is this the thief? What's this extra purple range? Is it the thief's attack range? Oh, it is. It okay. must be. Yeah, he doesn't attack though. We could like try to bait him, I guess, with Sumia, because there's nothing else that can reach that, right? Doesn't look like it. Not yeah, too far away. So. Yeah, there, there's the surprise archer, but... Yeah. S Sumia definitely lives against this thief. There's no way. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll go forward. And just make space for him and move my energy drop away. And Krom rejoins the party. We can, like, pair with fake. I'll pair here. I love pair up. It's so fun. I am, yeah, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I love the movement options. Kill a lance. That's going to be really nice to have. Oh, I think they moved in a dumb way where they... Archer... Wait. Huh? Wait, what? The shock stick doesn't... I thought it had one to range. Hold up. Wait, stop. This is just one range? Oh, it's just one range. I thought it was one two for oh. some reason. I guess we can see, like, it looks like it's casting it from range, but he's using it up close. All this time I thought I had a one two range magical lance. Turn out it's just... This is close range. What a disappointment. because we thought... Yo, this weapon's trash, man. It doesn't yeah. have one two range. It has nothing on the imposing axe. How are you gonna enemy phase? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm so sad what right now, I need to console myself with an imposing axe attack. You know what, just, just choose a new game to do a playthrough of. <laughs> Forget about it. No, this is a skill pair up. Hold up. One skill? Damn, easy. One? One skill from a Myrmidon. Okay, wait, okay, makes sense. Good thing they got defense every level up. Yes! <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, you're doing that. You did okay. get the imposing axe skill. <laughs> what? I keep forgetting yeah, it doesn't right. kill anymore. Oh, good job. Oh, no. Wait, Longku level. Yeah. This is what I'm telling you, he's gonna level strength. Nice! Nice, alright. Yeah, that's a long crew level. I'm down. HP, strength, skill, speed. What, do you know his strength growth? Uh, I actually don't. I can look it up real quick for you. That'd be cool. By this point in the video, you'll probably have it posted. Yeah, I, uh, I, could try and, I tend to show them... Hold on, let me make sure I surprise Archer doesn't surprise me. I tend to show them when we're like talking about a character for the first time. Fun fact, we never did it about Vake, we just kind of went in with him. So I had to put it in an awkward moment. All hundreds. All hundreds. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, originally we thought there was something to talk about with Vake, and then we found two imposing axes. Is like, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Oh, this guy's like super benched. He has a fifty-five percent strength growth as a Myrmidon monk who does. Nice. That's uh, that's more like a mercenary kind of growth. It's actually pretty high. It's five points behind Crown. Yo, let's. Check. I mean, we don't want XP on, on Freddy. Better not do that. Let me just chill here for a second. Maybe if he gets Archer to Donald, then we're done with him. Yeah, we're about to see. Unless we're using him, in which case, you know, we're probably not done with him. 
Done with Donald. I'm done with oh, Donald. he only steals one item. Oh, apparently he does. You can just get the other He's one for yourself with his chest key. Oh, which, I mean, oh, this guy drops the chest key. Okay. Yeah, the surprise archer. Mighty surprise archer. I can feed another one. Handy, to, I can feed another one to, uh, to Donald. Easy. Yeah, this should be easy. 26. Easy so, uh, maybe not. Well, how much does Donald do? Yeah. Five. So we need 18. There's like a. Oh, this I think you can line up a gust enough. of wind. Ooh, yeah, let's go from good. here so we don't like dual strike. All right, Krom, uh, show me your falcon, I guess. If there's a chance we miss, we might need to use this Draco shield tile. Oh, that might be useful. Because if we miss, what happens? Oh, we die. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, super dead. All right. Uh, do you like my Donald? I just gave him five defense. There we go. The portable forest tile. Mm -hmm. Very flexible tile. It's over. All right, Donnie's staying. We get to keep him. All right, let's see this first one. Yay! <laughs> that's a pretty good level. That's all right. I, I would have liked res, but that's okay. No, yeah, no res. Trash unit. Just forget about it. Media bench. I think I make this jo joke every single time I get any kind of good level up, really. But to be fair, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like no res, no it, luck. It's high comedy. It's high comedy time. That's right. Only intellectuals understand bad Donald level ups. <laughs> Alright. And the enemy's The Lance without a name will take another kill. Unfortunately. Oh, did she not do it? But the Oh, yeah, that guy had 24 hit points. Can't do maths. Yeah, she got one strength, but it's not enough. It needs two strength. Cringe. Right. Two strength for two imposing axes. Yeah, basically. Uh, Archer, come here. Presence for you. Let me bait you with my not too range axe. Apparently, my my shock stick. I mean, ah, but you won't be able to look at that now. You can't surround him. You can do this. I don't need to. I can probably set up a kill on him. Probably. I have, I have confidence in our ability to set up a kill between these like fifteen thousand units that we have. Come on. Nah, I don't think it'll matter. I want now. that crit with this. It has ten percent crit for a reason. It needs to use it. There we go. Well, it's gotta hit first. Defense again. Dude, Vake's growths are ridiculous. I looked them up. He has so much of everything. It's like, oh, he has a lot of strength. He probably just doesn't have much speed. Oh, he has like 50 speed. He probably doesn't have a whole lot. Oh, he has like 50% defense too. Like, what the fuck yeah. is the unit doing? Like 50%. Wait, doesn't he have. Oh my gosh, he has 105 yeah. HP. Yeah, he just gets HP every time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's pretty game. good. Yeah, we kind of got a good unit. Yeah, I'll just. Two. What do you mean you don't kill? Um, we can run this up easy. Uh, All right, hold up. I have a unit 16. that doesn't kill. Hold up. Oh, dude, never mind. Now she kills. Um, oh, that's strength level. I mean, terrible. What about. What about Noodle? Noodle could probably do it. Uh, I don't think Noodle is enough. Just, yeah. It's not, I mean, maybe mm. with the Bronze Sword, but... Nah. I think it's gotta be, uh... I think this works. Six is enough, right? Maybe... Uh... Bronze Sword and Vague Prep. He's still e rank Lances, so we can't trade him over that Forged Iron Cannon. This works, right? We do six, I think. Ooh, Frederick has that 25% dual strike. Yeah, That's we can, the only thing that can mess You can up. do this funny trick where you can like unequip him. And you can attack. Oh and my goodness. Strike. Hey. Yo, this is why you're the better fireman than player. I just thought it is. Very cool. Oh, just on the spot? I mean, I remembered other people doing it and I replicated it. Basically my draft race strategy. You should have just taken full credit for it. Yeah. Been like, yeah, no. Oh my goodness. Did he just do a leaping attack? <laughs> He's like already an anime hero. Dude, Donald can function as a thief if you give him two chess keys. Better than Ash confirmed. Better. <laughs> Just buy chess keys. I think it's, uh, this chapter is one of the only chapters that gives you chess keys until, like, way late game. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have a choice, the right? Because there's no way you can get these chests without the chess keys. Oh, that's true. Because you don't have a thief yeah. or a second seal to reclass into thief. Oh, we get uh, Gaius in chapter six, and we get Anna in Paralog two. So we should have. Oh, I always forget. Open. Yeah, I always forget Anna has the lock touch. Yeah, I mean she's a trickster, isn't she? So she should have it. Uh, we can get out of here with your reasonable with, things. Uh, get a Sumia or something. Now we got the sparkling tiles. Oh we right. Get those uh, I mean, Krom, I guess might as well get this one. I mean, he's pretty good at finding things we like, so... He has a pretty good record so far. Uh -huh. Yep, Someone he got another this. one. Oh, so we got... Micaiah's Pyre. I hear this Defense is pretty rest good. Defense rest plus two. Radiant fire magic. Oh, radiant, and 13 might. 13 oh, might is pretty oh. epic. We can't <laughs> use this yet, though. Up 
Uh, where's Snoodle? Where did I put Noodle? I lost my... Oh, there he is. Um, he's at D right now. It's going to be a while before we can use that, but it's nice to get these early. And just have the ability to whip them out later. If I want to. Yeah, don't we have the other... the wind magic? We never took a look at the wild wind. Oh, yeah. I guess we can take a look at that when you're done. It's either in convoy or it's on stall. Mm -hmm. Something like that, probably. We have a lot to do this episode, man. Um, okay, so this... This could be not O'Donnell if we really want it to be. Uh, the question is... So we lose a 5 archer? Nope, not this one. Eight what about strength? the other one? 9 strength, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, for sure. It not. doesn't get much better. Um, if you well, if you pair up the Frederick, actually, should have survived. Well, I was thinking of, like um, giving Donald to Frederick so that he can get the skill somehow. Uh, but for that, I would have to like weaken this archer. So where? How far can Frederick move? Anywhere you want, baby. So my plan, I'm thinking, is have Sumia attack from the north without any pair up. Frederick then pairs up for the defense if she survives the archer. Because how much damage does Sumia do to this archer right here? Enough. So, leaves him at once. So this is actually perfect. But then, and then how do we get? Some amount... Oh, we can swap with uh, Robin or something. With exactly. The yeah. Okay, that's clever. That was so. that was the idea I had. Okay. We need to make sure we survive that archer though, because okay, so this one does exactly twenty, right? So the other one is twenty one. Exactly. So we need to we need to give her at least. Well, that's that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. So attack, attack. So what we do here is go here, uh, switch with Draper Shield, transfer over. Right? Just like that. Perfect. Yeah. Maybe we can even drop so we can do something else next turn. And we then, need Robin. Yeah. Very good pair. Blissa really fixes all of Donald's problems. <laughs> what does this even give? Yeah. Even as a 98% to hit. Gives him a bunch of luck, magic, and this is what we needed. The good stats. All the good stats. All the good stuff. Okay. Uh, Sumia, yeah, this is not dangerous. Trust me. Are you sure you can move here, Frederick? Yeah, you sure. Okay. Alright, just don't fuck yeah, up. Don't, sure don't, don't mess up the inputs. <laughs> don't crit. Uh, critting is fine. I, I don't mind getting kills because of Sumia either. Donald's hard to get feet kills too, though, so I prefer him. Alright, Freddy, save the girl. And just like that. You can even give her a javelin to counter the next guy. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it, it does, kills. It does count to be precise with the inputs. Yeah. That damages. That'll give her the XP she needs to level. Yeah, that's good. Pair up. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily want to kill. Like, if it kills, kill for Sumia. If it doesn't kill, kill for Donald. Pretty good either way. Switch. Bronze Lance. Maybe the only question is, does the boss move? I'm the boss sure doesn't move. I just checked that while we were talking. He's uh, not full down. Goodbye. Dude, they should have made the condition give Donald five levels. That would have been challenging. I know, right? Cool. Easy. It's an easy game. Easy game. It's like they made this for kids or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the only problem is Donald still has all these chess keys. So I'm going to get one to Longku so we can make a trade chain. And next turn we just go like trade it to Robin or something, trade it to Krom, whatever he wants. Are all the chess keys over there? I mean, there's only one chest left, right? So that's true. Well, it has a pretty oh, good. Oh, not there, if forget I this one. Uh, I guess Fake can go get that one. Fake can get it. Who gets the boss? Card? Please have a please math. Yeah, yeah. math right, math good. Ooh, that was close. Oh, and perfectly full. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> second one. But she's angry. <laughs> and she's vast, I can it. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, Yo, up. strength. <laughs> strength skill? I can take it. Here we go. Okay, uh, where did I leave my chest keys? They're on. Long I think long key. Okay, uh, from. Robin. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Chess. Yes. This mecha guy is pretty good at you. Completely unnecessary trade chain because we're taking our time here anyway. Yeah, no, okay. we gotta. I don't think I'm brave enough to people. feed the boss to Donald though. Ooh, okay. well, how's, how's he do? How's he do? Uh, he has eight attack, so that kind of speaks for itself, I think. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> with Papa no, Triangle, I think uh, you, can, you can do with a break. He's gotten like almost three levels. Uh, I kind of want to like umpire yeah, everyone. This is... but everyone is short. Uh, Fate can go get the thing. I guess it's just unpair in the boss room. There's no need to be fancy here. I don't know why I thought it, it would need to be fancy, but I don't need to be fancy. Yeah, so there's, there's no, there's no re heal, so like, go here, I guess. I think, honestly, you can maybe even bait out the hand axe on the boss, and mm -hmm. that can make it safer for attacks. Yeah, I mean, it depends what right you do. If you want to attack from range, it's actually safer for him to have to steal axe. Go here. 
What are we getting? Alright, third imposing axe. A present from one of all Vic's fans? How thoughtful. Superior Jolt. The superior jolt? This is... Hit a void plus 50 when enemy has a tome equipped. So it's like a tome breaker tome. Exactly, yeah, there's a, there's a superior for each weapon type. And this is the superior tome, I guess. Oh, so it's like superior sword. It has like plus 50 against enemy swords. Exactly, and it has a tome breaker. And That's they really fun. didn't mess around with the tome breaker bonuses here, did they? It's like plus 50. <laughs> That's pretty good, because like, if you're like, up against a bunch of mages, that could be pretty good. Until it breaks, of course, which is after like one enemy phase in the game. Or like during an enemy phase, probably. Okay, don't mess up the inputs. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not digging it. I'm sorry. Yeah, forget There are limits it. to my insanity, believe it or not. Oh, he has crit on Frederick. Wait a minute, what the though. Hell? He, he had luck he from this. Yeah, you, yeah, I think it's Gamble. What's yeah. this skill? Plus oh, 10, wow. Yeah, plus what? 10 crit. Right, this is... It's it's very different from the Tellius ones. <laughs> yeah, this is actually good, huh? <laughs> yeah, this one is just... I mean, it's not drawback free, but like, enemies don't really care about minus 5 hit or whatever, but they do care about, you know, just killing your units like that. Yeah, well, by minus 5 hit, I think there's a... I would give that up for plus 10 crit. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can Oko my guys, like, all of them. How much luck would I need to, like, avoid this? It's 4 crit. Didn't you say that the only way to get, like, crit avoid in this game is to actually just to have luck? Just, just to have luck forehead? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that just gives crit avoid. No, no pair up, no support. No anything. I can look up here in the calculations, though. So. sad. And I don't see a dodge stat or anything under summary, so you might be right. Okay, yeah, minus crown enemies. Wait. Crit. Maybe we can get him. Like, maybe the hand axe idea is the actually good idea, because then he has like much less might to work with. We just kill him more easily. I'm not about to risk this. All right. Here it comes. Here we go. Hand axe. Four percent crit. Actually, he still this kills would be me. <laughs> he still kills me. I should yes. have paired him up. That would oh, be perfect. Also, lethal. I put him next to Sumi. I like a dumbass. And now you got points from that. Oh come on, dude. dude that's fine. We're marrying Sumi off anyway. Yeah, that's true. Like we kind of have to. Okay, I'll just I'll just give him the most buff pair up I can think of. What on earth? Twenty-two damage? Yeah, this unit kind of good. I think we might, might be able, able to survive too now. Oh, we got strength on Lissa. Very important. Wait, what's uh, what's Thomas hit rate? No. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm cooking here. <laughs> it's a massive seventy. So imagine. <laughs> Maybe we could get it to work. How much damage does Frederick do? Fourteen, and then twenty-two. Uh, that's thirty-six. That's a lot. That is a lot of damage, but that's with the Crom pair up. So I think fourteen plus twenty-two, thirty-six. Does Crom pair up give any strength or no? Uh, apparently, I think it gives one. Yeah. Ah, trash. Trash unit. I know, right? I mean, if we hit him for this, there's probably a way we can make it work out. Uh, I think with the Freddy pair, he actually doesn't die to steal X crit. Because before we didn't have him paired up, and it wasn't an exact kill. So maybe there's a way we can work this out. Yeah, he might. Well, we'll see with the steal X. He does nine. Oh, oh he still, wow, this he still kills me. <laughs> this math, it does, it's not, it does not check out. Mecca making the dubious decisions here. <laughs> All of them. Watch out, guys. I have a bronze He's playing it out. The bronze sword. Pair up Donald with Wonku. And then what? That's, that's how you can get it. Hey, really? Yeah, well, for the plus lock, also with the dual strike chance. He could get the XP. <laughs> if he gets a dual strike, who's dubious now? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> that's not bad. Well, because the dual strike, if they get it in, they uh -huh. oh, like to go. take partial credit for Look, the kill. 100 hit, Donald good. Oh, Donald good. I think I say we go for it. There's nothing left. Oh, did we get the we get the thing, right? We got all the things. Yeah. We did get the thing. We got the superior jolt. And what was the other item? Micaiah's oh, pyre. pyre. Good job, Micaiah. This should be good. Is there a pun to be made with pyre? I can't really think of one. That's the challenge for the comment section. Uh -huh. That is the challenge. <laughs> Not the pairings. <laughs> Just Not go the with Micaiah puns. <laughs> go with puns. Hey, Crom and Vic one MVPs. My, my favorite pairing. I've done it. <laughs> yeah, you sure did it, bro. Yes. You fought well. You got almost two yeah. levels. Oh. 
I mean, the first one he got was pretty good. He got a perfect level, so, basically, right? Yeah, everything but Riz. No. It's always good going in here and just getting a trash on a level right away. It's like, come on. I thought this game was supposed to be good. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What? I can fight too. Yeah, okay. I can fight too. I got it. I got it. Let's go. My growth ain't half bad either. <laughs> I can never do these accents. No. Okay. Now, for our final final activity for today. Um, oh, we gotta name the weapon. Exactly. Yo, hello, it's getting kind of crowded in here. Is that the double battle? The double battle, what right? I fix you with? Uh, was it like Forge, Sumia, just... There you go, just change the name. Here we go. Okay, so for those of you who are sad that we're not pairing Crown with Sumia and getting our Pi supports, uh, we'll make sure that she has a Crown to work with anyway. Uh, exactly. You, you think, always it, have you think that suggestion of yours will fit? I don't know if it will fit. Oh, no. I, I don't think it's fitting, no. I don't think we can... Yeah, we were going to, to go with Crown Body Pillow, but I think just naming it Crown will be confusing as plenty. There we go. Yeah. Alright, we got the Crown. People, people will get The Crown lands. The Crown lands. Just the Crown. You can even forge it again if you want to. It's just really expensive. Wait, is it? Yeah. Can you deforge? No, I'm afraid not. It's, it only has really. arrows pointing to the, to the right for these. So Wait. Can you get an exact forge for 805 gold? I'm pretty uh, sure when you forged 3 crit, that was 805. Oh, I'm just off. Nope. There are no options for us here. It's okay, I like my gold. I'd like to keep some of it. Some forge of it. for no gold. My favorite. And we can just buy iron weapons here now, so that's cool too. Oh, can't you? Yo, Anna was ripping us off earlier. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what else do we expect from her? Oh, that's it's, true, I it's guess. okay, we'll get her back later, or we'll get her later. One of those two things. The next we'll get one of the Anna's. Yeah. But first, maybe we should, like, do that cliff thing where we save our units that are in peril. Maybe we should do that next episode instead. That might be nicer. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like, oh, they are kind of actually, a mortal danger. We did just take a break while our friend Maribel was getting attacked by wyverns and everything. Oh, that's okay. She invaded their country first. It's, it's, oh, she true. had it coming. She had it coming. She is the belligerent. Uh huh. Maribel, the war criminal. Yeah, definitely. Well, war criminal or not, we will save her next time. So look forward to that. And uh, we'll see you next time. For sure. See you next time.